Although dolphins are marine animals, they are mammals just like us. In fact, humans and dolphins have a few things in common. Dolphins are warm-blooded, breathe air, give live birth to their young that are called calves, and feed their young calves with milk. They even have some hairs on their beak during their first few days of life. The calves usually stay with their mothers for three to six years until they have learned enough to live on their own as juveniles, typically in the area where they grew up. Dolphins also live in communities and love to socialize. They have developed amazing ways to survive in the murky waters where they live, through such things as clicks and whistle sounds. Special kinds of whistles, called signature whistles, serve as individual names. Dolphin calves can make many whistles, and they develop their own name in the first few months of life. Echolocation is another miraculous tool that enables dolphins to navigate, keep track of one another, and locate their food, even at night. To echolocate, a dolphin produces a series of clicks that bounce back from things in the environment, a kind of natural sonar. By timing the lapse between sending and receiving, a dolphin can tell how far away a given object is. Through observation and research, we're learning more and more about their behavior and new threats affecting them. These intelligent and graceful mammals face dangers, and people are their biggest threat. Many of the dolphins living in the Sarasota Bay will at some point become victims of boat propellers, fishing lines, or pollution, all of which can result in physical injury or illness, and even death. Although feeding a wild dolphin seems like a nice and fun thing to do, it actually exposes the animal to inappropriate food that can make them sick or promote dangerous behavior, making them vulnerable to boat propellers, fish hooks and line, disease organisms, environmental pollutants, and sharks. Since 1970, the Sarasota Dolphin Research Program has been dedicated to research, conservation, and community education. With permission from NOAA's National Marine Fisheries Service, the SDRP conducts periodic dolphin health assessments, rescues injured and distressed dolphins, and works with rehabilitation and scientific organizations such as Moat Marine Laboratory. Our outreach efforts are meant to educate, inform, and help garner public support. You can make a difference by simply recycling your fishing gear, collecting any trash you see, and maintaining at least a 50-yard distance from any wild dolphin you encounter. For more information about our program, visit our website at www.sarasotadolphin.org.